Hey, I'm Jacob Hansen. I'm here in my live room and today I'm going to show you how I mic toms. So here we've got a classic 421 on the top of the tom and on the bottom I put a Bayer condenser. It's a TG D58 and um, the reason why I'm doing this is that I pick up quite a lot of tone here and actually also some extra top end. Um, to me that's kind of important for the, for the tom sound or the way that I do toms and I always mic the, the bottom heads of the toms, of all the toms. So um, I recorded some samples so we can uh, go into the control room and listen to it. Hey, I'm in my control room now and we can listen to the samples that I did. Here's the, the top mic first. Sounds actually pretty fine. Um, now let's hear the bottom mic. These are unprocessed so far, it's just straight in. Of course, this will need a little bit of processing and EQing and some things. So I have my SSL channel here. I do a little bit of low end cutting there. Um, a little bit of uh, race in the top end around 3.60. It's just to get a little bit more attack here. Of course, I, I will be gating in a, in a normal situation. Um, let's not gate for now. Yeah, so it's just open now. This was the, the top mic. And now let's listen to the bottom mic in solo with the processing that I would normally be using. So let's see what I'm doing. I'm... Um, you know, putting a lot of top end into the, the bottom mic here. You know, a little cut in the in the low end and taking some some mids out of it. And again a little bit more mids. I I actually think the the bottom has to give some extra how do you say some extra meat so I think of it kinda scooped and not very mid centered, it's, it's or mid-focused, it's more like a, a top-end attack and some, some low-end as well. And I, sometimes I can even, you know, when it's, when it's lower toms, deeper toms, I add quite a lot of low-end to it because there's a nice ring and a nice tone on the, on the resonator head, the, the bottom of the tom. Let's hear the, the bottom mic in solo. And that was with the processing little bit of um, compression as well and uh, this is the top mic I'm showing you here has a little bit of compression as well but let's hear the two how they sound together and now it's important to always check face so what I had to do here was that I had to flip the face but bottom uh, on the bottom mic uh, so uh, otherwise it would be out of phase but we can hear it uh, how it would sound without the the face button in you lose all the the low end and and doesn't sound nice so that one has to be in and now let's listen to how that sounds with the the whole drum kit open with the room mics and everything That to me is a nice full sounding tom sound. And that's very much because of the, the bottom head, I think. Very important. So let's hear how it sounds with the full drum kit, but without the bottom mic. As you can hear, it's a little flat and it sounds, it doesn't sound full. So here it goes again with, uh, with the bottom mic in. Very nice round full sound, I think, with lots of attack, lots of nice low end. So uh, you should really try this trick next time you are working on toms. <laughs>